Hi, Carol. How are you? Test the sound. Let us know. We are on block 37. Hi, Michelle. Do you want to look at my settings? Yep. Hey, Carol. Hang in there, guys, for a second. Are you two? Oh, uh, no, there's somebody jumped on. Somebody jumped on now. This was bothering me. Yeah. Okay. Let us know when you're on the YouTube so we can test the sound. I had to come pick Hi, us Susan. off of uh, Robert. Hi, Linda. He's walking around with threads hanging on him. It's an occupational hazard, I think. Hi, Linda. Hey, let us know how the sound is on the YouTube side, Linda. Hi, Libby. We're going to have to have you come in as a guest. See what you've been doing. Let everybody ask questions. Hi, Beverly. Block is labeled 7F on the web for this week, not 7A. Sorry. Oops. Thanks, Beverly. We'll get that fixed for you. Hi, Patsy. The pattern actually says A. That's me. My typing skills are kind of sketchy. Uh, rushing noise on YouTube. Okay. That could be the air conditioner. Yeah, it could be. There is a vent right about above. That. Us. Hi, Sandra. How are you? I'm going to turn up the YouTube sound just a little bit. We're going to do the new cameras next week. So we got them set up today. So we're excited about that. Not easy. Just a little bit of work. It took me most of my day. Yeah. So, well, Joan, who are we? We Welcome, are. Welcome, everybody. Well, that's Robert. I'm Joan. Our companies are Quilters HQ. Windmill Sewing Center and Sewing Machines Express. The websites are quiltershq.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, and qhq, the number two, .com. And we do this every Tuesday night from 6 to 7 Central. And hopefully you'll learn a few things and find some tips. But right now we are on the last row <laughs> of a sew along that we've done. This was an Amish quilt that I designed many, many years ago and I've learned so much more since then and so this version is going to be better. So normally you couldn't make me do a quilt again. <laughs> but um, this one, I'm kind of excited about it to see it finished. You wanted to revisit it. Yeah. Give it another try. Hi Jody. Welcome. So, shall we get started or should we do announcements? I think we should probably do the announcements. Hi, Amber. So, we have the Bernina Serger event. That's at Windmill Sewing Center. That's on August 31st from 9 to 4. So, all day, lunch will be provided, drinks and snacks and all the fun stuff. So, uh, sergers and sewing machines as well. They're making a travel bag. This is a great place to um, learn more about using your serger which they are just so much fun um that one is filling up so call or visit the store or go online and sign up for that one um, beginning quilting september 8th through november 3rd this one is at quilters hq 10 30 to 1. Um, it's 120 dollars for eight sessions or 60 dollars for the first four sections and 60 dollars for the last four um basic cutting skills all kinds of stuff you leave with a little sampler or not not sampler you just leave with a small quilt after that one's finished and then we have some new things coming up they're not on the website yet a um, couple of things from kim kimberbell a serger class this is not an event it's just a regular class um then we have AccuQuilt Club. That's next Thursday. I Hi, showed Louise. September's project. So if um, you're thinking about, if you've left the club, you're thinking about coming back in, come this month. It's next, it's this Thursday. And um, see the new project that we'll be doing in September. So it's kind of a fun one. So as soon as those classes are up on the website for you to sign up, we'll talk more about them. Um, Kimberbell stuff always fills up really quick. 
So. And we do this every Tuesday night at every six. Every Tuesday at six. Central time. Central. What else? Did I miss anything? Um. No, we're um, we're gonna probably start being able to shoot mm -hmm. some videos and things like that, and uh, work on the uh, Zoom content or remote classes. Yes. So. Some of the machines, we're actually going to videotape, like the owner's training. Um, some of the Berninas, we're going to do those. Um, not the, the larger machines like the 770 and the 880. Those will still be in person, but the smaller machines where there's just not a lot to go over. So even if you bought one in a different state, you can go watch those videos for your owner's training. So fun stuff. And some fun stuff. We're going to be shooting from home, too, so. Yeah, I think we'll have some fun videos for everybody. Yeah, I've got some quilts to quilt, some projects to make, all kinds of stuff. So, we are working on block 7A, first block of the last row. Feels like a sprint now. <laughs> so, just think of it. In six weeks, we'll be talking about the sashing and the border. Cool. I know. Everybody's excited for that. I am. You can um, always download the pattern on uh, Quilters HQ if you the want. The website, that's on QuiltersHQ.com. There's a box at the top of the um, web page where you can click on it and we'll take you to all the patterns. Um, we are using dies 2, 2, and 5 from the 9-inch cube. So... <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could see what I see. Robert's back here doing like I don't know, <laughs> chorus line dancing. <laughs> he cracks me up. So let's start with um, the half square triangles. We need four of each of these colors and so I've measured it plenty of times but I always forget. The die is exactly three and a half inches so I'm going to cut a four inch strip off of my fat eighth. Did I measure that right? So three and a half, four inches. Okay. I don't know why it just looks too small when I set the ruler down. I'm going to line it up with the salvage so I get good cross grain. like we got a nick in our rotary cutting blade. Oh, there's a tip for you. Don't forget to change your rotary cutter blade. Yeah, it's kind of um, helpful. So we need four patches of the ebony and we're working with, this is real red. Isn't that bright? Real red. Somebody was saying a couple of weeks ago that the red looked orange and I went back and watched the video and it did. It looked really orange, but it's truly a red. I don't know why it looks orange on the screen. Hi, Bernadine. How are you? Welcome. Can you see? I can move it over. There we go. Yeah, it, and it actually does. On Joan's phone, it does look like it has more of an orange tint to it. And on the Facebook side, my phone. Hi, Pat. Hi, Patty. How are you? Um, it looks a little more reddish, so hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure how to adjust those. I'm not sure either. That could just be Android and Apple. Yeah, could be. Hi, Tom. Um, so what is the color of the Paintbrush Studio fabric? Or, I'm sorry. Is that, That's Paintbrush Studio, right? Yeah. This is real red. So the name of the Paintbrush Studio fabric is Real Red. Real Red. And you can see that in our uh, Quilters HQ catalog or on the website and kind of look at it. Okay, and so I need eight patches of the Real Red of the, we're done with this one. So I need eight of these. Hi Teresa, how are you? And I think I can get four out of this little scrap. 
And that'll leave me with a big piece for leftovers. I can't wait to see this. Hi, Amy. On our new cameras in HD, 4K. Yeah. I don't so. think we'll, we'll probably just do 1080p, though. Yeah, because of YouTube and stuff. Well, YouTube doesn't... I think only in their premium do they show you 4K. I don't know, but we're we're gonna shoot it. Hopefully, with we'll have some great colors. And Just a little string. So that's that. So how many did I get? Four. I need four more. It could just be that I need to adjust the color on your. I don't know that my phone will adjust color. Yeah, it does. It, uh, does my shirt look pink? A little bit, yeah. So there's a normal setting. Well, don't change it to black and white. I won't. <laughs> that would throw everybody off. I was thinking about that. Hi, Donna. So I grew up watching black and white TV. But I always knew when somebody was wearing red or all these different colors, and I'm wondering how we knew that, <laughs> you know, Wonder Woman was like red, white, and blue, but it was kind of, do you know what I mean? Am I the only one that just thought about that and thought, how did we know? They just pop in there sometimes, don't they? I mean, your shirt looks right, the black looks, your cup looks right, it's just the red has an orangish hue, and the red fabrics, a customer, a viewer was saying. Hi, Donna. No, I did watch the video, it did look orange. Yeah, I don't know why, we'd have to change it maybe to. By next week, we should have the, the cameras completely. Yeah, we'll have fun with the new system. Yep. Four of those, I think. Yep, that was it. Let's lay this one out because Yeah, it's a good point, Beverly. It could be the lighting a little bit too. This lights are kinda fluorescence. Yep. So they said your blouse looks like a medium rose color. Mm. It's kind of fuchsia. Keep an eye on the puzzle. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Welcome. It's this ebony block that's going to throw me off. And these to make sure that the triangles are facing the right way. I guess I could have pieced the triangles because. We know they're all going together. There. Okay. Kind of hard to tell because... Does it look right? Hi, Jerome. How are you? Well, I mean, one of the ways you Hi, can Jacqueline. you can tell because this really is just four sections, and I might actually piece these in four sections. Each of these four sections is exactly the same; they're just rotated a different way. So let's piece all the half square triangles together. What are you sewing on there, Joan? This is the Juki TL 2010. It's a little workhorse machine. And if you had one loved one of those Kenmores, I'm going to say it. 
from back in the day. <laughs> or a new home. Or a singer that just was just an amazing little workhorse. This is like that. All right, now I'm going to search for my... There's one. <laughs> Debbie said, I still have a new home. <laughs> And Hi, Diane. Going. How are you? Stream's breaking up. Maybe try the YouTube side, Ellen. Yeah, Facebook is <clears throat> kind of hit and miss a little bit. Yeah, we're not going <laughs> to. Plus a couple other ones. <laughs> say anything about uh, Facebook because they're probably listening. Last one. And I'm just going to continue chain piecing because these don't really matter. It's just um, red and a black together. You know, we were setting up a long arm yesterday, and um, a couple of great tips I think came out of that. And one of them was change your needle. Change your needle. How to change it on a long arm? Not necessarily how to change it, but just a reminder, don't forget to change it a little more often. So Yeah, depending on um, I don't know, with a if, if you're quilting at home on your long arm, I'd get a new needle when you start a new quilt. Or if you're doing like a baby quilt and you just finished a large quilt, you probably get that one in there too. Maybe three baby quilts you could do. Hi Joel. If you get a nest of any kind or something like that, you should change it. And then I think another thing that was a, a good tip just always to go back to is to check your thread path going through there and make sure that you've hit all the little points for mm -hmm. your machine because um, sometimes they pop out sometimes um, you know you just miss one sometimes as well or you do one too many that's the other thing that I've seen with that machine too um, so we were counting them out yesterday the um, the Juki uh, J350 has um, 13, that includes the needle, uh, thread points where you need to, um, I pressed the seam the wrong way on that one. I can't talk and focus <laughs> at the same time today. Pat your head and chew gum. No, that I can do. <laughs> I mastered that in grade school. Well, that might be an inter some entertainment value attached to that. I don't know. I don't think chewing gum ever looks good on camera. <laughs> um, yeah, so just check your thread paths um, on your machine always. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times they still will sew, but you'll get a weird looking stitch. You'll get a bad stitch. Or your thread will break a lot. So Always something to go back and check. Another good rule of thumb is also if you see the problem on the bottom of your project, whether you're quilting or sewing or whatever, the issue is on the top of your machine. If you see the issue on the top of your machine, your project, the problem or the issue is on the bottom. So either you put the bobbin in backwards or you have a poorly wound bobbin, things like that. It happens. We see oh, yeah. it. Okay, so let's get this laid out again. Red goes in that corner. It'll be a little easier to see it this time. Because all my shapes are kind of the same size-ish. Black goes in that corner. Hey, 
And if there's a tip that's worked for you um, that you like to follow or your process when you're sewing that helps out, definitely comment because um, someone else may benefit from that tip. Okay, that's the gist of the block. It's kind of like a little pinwheel. So, and I think I'm going to put this together in four sections so that you can see that truly this is, now nah, I'm going to piece it in rows. I'm just going to show you though. So if we took this piece and rotated it, it is exactly the same. So all of these pieces are the same. Put this back and then I'm just going to piece these rows together and we have another quick and easy block finished. It's always interesting in the, the quilt block when you start moving them around a little bit. The different configurations that you can get. So yep. Cool. Nope, we're piecing this in blocks. Okay, like this. We are going to piece this in squares, except this part we're going to piece in rows, sort of. Uh, somebody commented, um, clean the bobbin area out. That, clean that, the that's a good area. one, yeah. Yep. Sometimes those threads will get wrapped around the rotary hook or clog things up down there too. Don't forget to put a drop of oil in your rotary hook. That is a must. So we're going to just press these real quick and we'll piece those two in blocks. I know this looks confusing, but I can. How are you? It is all going to work out. Yeah, it's always a good point, Amy. <laughs> Only use the oil if your machine calls for it and wear. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Yes, definitely refer to your owner's, owner's manual. manual. Yeah, because some are different spots. Hi, Judy. Long arms, you gotta oil the rotary hook. And that's for all of the brands that we carry the Janome, the uh, Tornino, and the Juki. Cunique. And the Cunique. How nice my points are coming out. It must be a good day to be sewing. Good day to be sewing. We're almost finished with this project. Yeah, it seems like not long ago we just started. When we first started it, I was like, wow, that just seems like a really long time. You know, 40, was it 42 weeks? Yeah. So that one goes there. So these two. My, how time flies. <laughs> Karen said she moved over to YouTube and the sound was a lot better. Well, hopefully.
hopefully we'll be able to be on the new cameras next week. They're nice. I was playing with them today a little bit. And, um... Be able to do really fun stuff. Really fun stuff. Hi, Alice. How are you? Yeah, time goes by really quick. It's back to school already, and there colleges are starting, and... Something doesn't look right. Your pinwheel outwheeled. We got well, you talking. <laughs> got me talking. You're going to need a seam ripper. Going to go with my little trusty snips. Snippy Snip things. Snip them open. Yep. It's live, folks. Oh, let's not pretend this isn't the first time this has happened. <laughs> That's part of sewing, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't make seam rippers. So these are called six inch snips. I want to say they're about $20 or 21 or. Those are the big ones or yep. the little ones? Um, I don't think they do the little ones anymore. But I like these. They've got a, a sharp little hook on them so that you can hook onto your threads. Those are the six inch? Yep. Yeah, they're $21.99. $21.99. Um, we use them a lot when we're proofing our quilts because just like when I locked the seam in, it's pretty tight in there and this little hook can just get in there and pick up those stitches <laughs> so that I can clip them. Alright, Libby has a joke. If you guys watched the show early on when we kind of first started, Libby always had a joke. Alright, so the joke is I have a joke. <laughs> Hold on. It just jumped off the screen. What did the quilt say to the bed? I don't know. What did the quilt say to the bed? I don't know. We're waiting for Libby to give us the punchline here. Hmm. Okay. So that goes there. Don't worry, I got you covered. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's try this again. Let's press my seam the other direction so that it will nest well and I still get Hi, good points. That is the nice thing about this tool, the doohickey. And I'm about to do it again. Um when you press these with an iron, your seam really gets in there, your, I don't know, your press, where you pressed it is, you have to iron it in order to get that seam to lay flat again. When you're using this, you can just press it again and be fine. Be sewing fine. Be so fun. Hi Peggy, welcome. Okay. This should be better. Much. Press this. This together, and then we're almost done. Home stretch. Well, happy anniversary, Peggy. Who's having an anniversary? Forty-seven, Peggy Bunch. Forty-seven. Congrats from us here at Quilters HQ. Congratulations. That's a long time. 
How many times has quilting saved his life? <laughs> got them all right. I got them all right. We are done. I know it saved uh, my son a couple of times. They just do stuff. Kids. Kids and they're always doing something. Sometimes spouses or significant others. Sometimes. And you just gotta go find your happy place. Alright, let's press it and see what we got. This is pretty This turned out really pretty. All my little extra threads out. There it is. That is block 7A, week 37, 36, 37. I think it's 37. I think Chloe posted it earlier. She already fixed the name on the block, so. Oh, thank you, Chloe. Yeah. There you go. I awesome. like this block. It turned out really cool. It did. Okay, I got some new stuff to show you. She Come said it's there. week at 37. Week 37. New stuff. So we got this new hometown Halloween. This is the machine embroidery version um it's the candy corn quilt shop i know they're doing this down in springfield we have if stacy's on we have your fabric we'll bring it down sometime soon as, soon as possible as soon as possible so um this is for machine embroidery but the, the the quilt is just i don't know if i can get close enough where you can see the quilt without all of the stuff but it's um Sit and stitch a spell. Here lies all my scraps. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Here lies M.T. Bobbins. Brim parking only. All others will be stitched in the ditch. <laughs> That's funny. Here's an unfinished quilt. May it rest in pieces on a tombstone. <laughs> I've done that. I have just abandoned projects. I don't feel guilty about it either. <laughs> just saying. Um, this is $69.95. The embellishment kit has all the little ribbons and buttons and, and uh, oh, it has candy corn buttons. How cute is that? See the little candy corn buttons? They think of everything over at Kimber Bell. They do. This is $44.95. So, and then we put together a fat quarter bundle of the fabrics that are used in this. Um, in this quilt. There are some fabrics in Kimberbell Basics that you're going to need to purchase to go with it, but it lists the fabric requirements right in the front here. So the Kimberbell ba Basics are not included in the Fat Quarter Bundle, but these fabrics will sell out quick, so we wanted to kit these out for the people that bought these um, CDs. Um, the Fat Quarter Bundle is $61.99. So to get any of these products, you would comment, make it mine. Let us know if you want to ship it or have it picked up local. And if you haven't shopped with us before, you need to go to one of the websites and register for Make It So. That gives us your email address. We will, um, if you are getting it shipped, we will email you an invoice that you can pay with PayPal or credit card. And as soon as we get that payment, we will ship it right off to you. So if you bought all three of these, your shipping is going to be free because shipping is free over $75. So I'm going to make this too. Oh, maybe that will be recorded and uploaded. Possibly. Nice. Okay. These are, if you haven't seen these quilts, a lot um, of fun. They're a lot of fun and they're really cute when sewn out. Just, just super cute. 
And then um, Robert picked this out to show you. We only have one, so the first person who claims it is... Um, kind of it, uh, in honor of Marilyn. Marilyn's spirit. I was wandering through the shop. You know, this would be great for Halloween costumes. Yeah, and I was so, thinking Halloween's here. Although, in our sure. area, maybe this might work in Halloween in Florida. In our area, you're going to have to make this out of wool or flannel so that <laughs> the little buddies can be warm when they're out trick-or-treating. Unless you trick-or-treat inside. So, um, this retails for $9.95. So, just some fun little projects for you yep. know kids out there and what you you could always do a different take on them too so what a way to get your grandchildren involved in sewing yeah maybe help you make it or your children i'm not assuming that all of us have grandchildren i don't yet so um <laughs> anyway i thought it was a fun little book and so there's one for Marilyn wandering through the shop comment make it mine superhero Hi, Donna. And then this is new. This is from Annie's. And this is Fast and Fun Quilts for Kids. And I was flipping through there, and there are some really cute quilts in here. These are, um, let me turn around so you can see the book as I'm flipping through it. Cute little turtles. I mean, you could do, just take this part out here and make a bench pillow with turtles. Hi Sarah. For the older kids. Mm. Fun. Fun. That one's cute too. I think that's the same pattern. Um, something real simple. <laughs> Tracy was saying her daughter hated sewing. Really? Yeah, maybe she'll come back around. You never know. I didn't really want any part of it when I was growing up. That's cute with a little. Somebody was asking, is there any butterflies in there? I didn't look at all the different I don't, quilts for kids, but it's a fun little book. I didn't see any butterflies. Nope, no butterflies. This retails for $10.99. Comment, make it mine. Quilts for kids. Let us know whether you want to ship it or pick it up. Okay. So there's a lot of new people on. Um, how do they, uh, what's the process? I thought we went over that. Uh, we did. Double check. A lot okay. of people jumped in late, so always a reminder. So, um, I, Hi, gotta, I have this bad habit of saying so. So every time I say. S-E-W? No, not the, S, the S-O one. <laughs> so every time I say so, <laughs> put in, I don't know some kind of weird icon oh you need an emoji yeah oh okay everybody get an emoji ready if get Jim an emoji ready yeah so almost did it again <laughs> <laughs> they got you. um this is a new panel from moda this is peace on earth um it does have a pattern in here and it gives you the pattern requirements right on the front so all you get in this is the panel which is really cute and um, it is $43.99 for the panel it is quote? the um, panel is 58 by 69 without opening it up I don't know how big the quilt is so you can figure it out right if it's 58 by 69 yep so how many weird emojis are flying by? Uh, there's quite a, quite a few of those. <laughs> quite a few of those. How okay. much was the Annie's book again? Was that? It was ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine, Tracy. It gives you the materials needed on the back. One quilt panel, five eighths yard for binding fabric, and four yards of backing. Um, Sixty six by seventy seven inch backing. So. Yeah, I thought it was really kind of go. a cool. It's cute. It's yeah. pretty. And then we've got. Uh, um, there was another one, yeah. Two more panels. I love these. Yeah, those these are, are so These are so fun. beautiful. So if you had like a romantic quilt that you were doing for your spouse, maybe for their anniversary or just because you loved them so much, then this would be perfect. 
This is 56 by 77. It says, you are so loved. That one doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> it is $47.99. Comment, make it mine. Rosie Love. And then there's this one. I love these fabrics. We have these fabrics in the shop, too. So if you come in the store, we have coordinating fabrics for this. And this is positive positive vibes there are always flowers for those who wish to see them it's also $47.99 comment make it mine posy time posy tive I think they're trying to say positive but they're saying positive mm -hmm. yep. it's really hard to read that and because it kind of looks like posse yeah, I don't know if we can. We can't use the thumbs down emoji though. So that yeah. YouTube will like see that and like. Yeah, that video will never be seen or something. again. <laughs> and we still have a few of these in stock. <laughs> no worries, no worries. <laughs> this is um, we just quilted this in the store. Um, that's this panel. These are $8.23. This is Be Joyful. This would go well with um, some black fabric or some gray fabric. We might have a little bit of this fabric left in the shop. We've got a couple of these panels left, so comment, make it mine, Be Joyful. Yeah, so, and that's also going to be the giveaway tonight. Oh, we're giving away one of these? We are. Okay. And um, so how you register is make sure that you've commented. Yep. So, and then toward the end of the show, um, we will um, announce a winner and ship it out to you. Or pick it up if you're a local customer. We've been talking about sergers so much lately. This is a pattern. The pattern is $18.99. It is by Indigo Junction. It is the everyday tank. And the pattern can be made in extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, 2XL, and 3XL. Sorry. Um, comes in two different versions. There's a version that will end right here at your hip, and then there's a little bit longer at the top of the thigh. And there's the fabric yardage. It's just a plain old simple pattern. I love these. I actually um, use, um, it's a product, photo mount, photo mount spray. So iron this flat and then you spray your, um, so you can you, you can buy paper like craft paper or any, anything like that. Hi, Paula. Roll, and Welcome. then mount these to that, or trace it onto that so that you can keep the pattern and reuse it. So, and that is the other thing you never get these folded back. But I found some fabrics that would make great everyday tanks, and I wanted to show them, and I'll come around there. And so, depending on the size, depends on how much yardage you would want. But this is a batik. This would make a fabulous, we have it, we have it in several colors. I only got it out in two. Um, but this would make just a really amazing tank top. These fabrics are available on the website and in the store. Should we do a special on these? Well, I didn't, I didn't number them or anything. Sure. Okay. So we'll take 20% um, off of these. And are they cotton or knit? These are cotton. Everything and I'm going to show you is cotton. And yes, that was the air conditioner kicking back on. They're kind of <laughs> noisy. It is kind of noisy. And we'll just leave yeah, these. Yes, Sarah, we. Go. We kind of moved a little bit over to the YouTube side. We're having some problems with Facebook, and so now we're kind of getting a new camera system, and so we're going to broadcast back to all three again and things like that, so some different stuff we can work on. 
So normally these are $12.99, so we'll do 20% off of these. Um, I think we have three of the pattern in stock. So will you slide that over to me and I'll read off the yardage. Yes. Yep. If you're gonna get the pattern, And this is 44 to 45 inch wide. So extra small to medium is 7 eighths yard. Here it's a minimum of one yard on the show. Um, large is one and a quarter. Extra large is one and three eighths. Two XL is one and a half. Three XL is one and five eighths. That's for the short, shorter tank. For the longer one, the extra small is one yard. Small is one and a quarter, medium one and three eighths, large one and a half, extra large one and five eighths, two XLs, one and three quarters, three XLs, seven eighths. So if you get two yards, you're or as the blanket said, I got you covered. The quilt. The quilt. The quilt said that. So this is another one. This is um, Ruby Star Society fabric. This will be number three. This would make really good scrubs fabric too. Oh, if you're a nurse? If you're a nurse in the dentist office or something like that. So Ruby Star, if you've ever worked with K-Facet fabrics, it's a little bit thinner and lighter. That's how these are. So they're not nearly as thick as it like a batik or um, regular quilters weight cotton. And I picked two of them. This one might be a little more advanced for you as a sewer because you need to pay attention to the pattern. Can you hold it up again? Yep, I oh, will. When you get Put the a, number on it. paste a number on it. So this is number four. So the only thing, it, it's directional sort only one way though. So as long as you're not going sideways with your cut, you would be fine. We'll hold up three again too. I really three like Three a little closer there? Yeah. So you can see the pattern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this one would make a great t-shirt, or not t-shirt, tank shirt. This is number five. And again, these are all going to be 20% off, minimum of one yard. They're all $12.99. This one's number five. But that would make, and we have this in the store and on the website in multiple colors. I think it's perfect for clothing. And then these, these are a little bit heavier fabric. So we'll, we'll go back through them, Karen, so you can take another look at them. Uh, yep. Just to make sure it didn't freeze up. And you can always go back and watch and comment on there if you want to get the deal as well. So yep. it's okay. And what I do. And if you're making for me, then I'll probably take a cape or something with my tee. So, you know, superhero. This is number seven, uh, heavier, coarser fabric, but it'll work fine for a tank top. Um, love these prints. And number you'll be able seven. to run, run faster too. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna test that out <laughs> on you. We just need a really fast dog to chase you, <laughs> to give you the proper motivation. This is number six. Same print, different color. This is a green underlay. <laughs> now we're having fun. And last one, number eight. In the cheetah. This is a cheetah print, right? Number eight. Or is it leopard? You know, it's cat print. Which cat? That's what so... I want. So. <laughs> oh, now you're doing it. Maybe I've passed it on to you. Yep. Pass it around the room. Everybody say, so. <laughs> oh, okay. So did we need to go back through these again? So this is number eight. These are twenty percent off. Minimum one yard co cut. Comment. Make it mine. Number eight. How many yards you would like? And we'll let us know whether you want to pick it up or ship it. 
And if you haven't shopped with us before, make sure you go to the website and register, and we can invoice you with PayPal. Number or six. You would like to pay. Number six. I okay. Like this one. You like that one? Yeah. yeah the cat prints are cool, That's and it. you can do something else with them. I mean, there's a lot of I stuff. I think you. Hey, there you go. There you go. That's the creative process at work, right there. Right? <laughs> you see it. You start designing a project around it. Number seven. Number five. This would be beautiful. The boutique. And it'd go great with jeans or white shorts. Mm -hmm. Number four. Number four, the flowers. Mm -hmm. And you could use them for something else too, like I said. Number three. I don't know, this just screams. That scrubs. one screams scrubs, scrubs here, right? Scrubs to okay. me. But it would work as a t-shirt too. And then numbers one and two. And those are pretty cool too. Yeah, this would make a great uh, tank top. Or if you don't want to sew the tank top, it would make a great fabric for a quilt. Mm -hmm. And then the pattern was that up really quick. $18.99. It's called the Everyday Tank. And I have it right here. Right there. So on your serger, you could whip that out really quick. Be done really fast. They have a bias, like a bias binding around the yoke and the sleeves. You could do a if you wanted to be lazy like me you could do a rolled hem around the whole thing you know one of these days we're going to get people in here to watch this live live audience thumbs up if you'd like to do that thank you <laughs> <laughs> He's over here doing the Vanna White, you know. <laughs> Color of the month is... Um, so what is it, first of all? It's our thread. Yeah, but These are this not is related. part of the club, right? Nope, not okay. related. Um, I'm trying to think. Very Dark Olive is Very the color olive. What's name. What's the color number? 2887. Comment, make it mine. Very Dark Olive. And this is 15% off. We have the boxes back in stock. It doesn't have one in it, but these come with a spool of white. The box is $20. That includes the spool of white. And then when you order well, online, well, you can um, call us to order online. And then your thread that you buy to purchase it is 20% off. And then every month during the show, we go through those. Mm -hmm. um, so every Another month we color. have a color of Aerofill that's discounted 15%. If you want this one and you're in the Thread Club, just put Thread Club next to your name um, with the color and you'll get 20% off. If you're not in the club, you get 15%. So either way, still, still good. good. Yeah. I love this color. This is a great color. So... <laughs> <laughs> I am going to give that up. <laughs> the viewers are going to help you. They are going to help me. They're going to help you. So I'll go so. I'll go home and watch this and <laughs> and see all the little, you know, smiley faces and So some of the remote viewers um, who aren't local I ask how they order for the Thread Club. For the Thread order Club. Online. So you can't order online, you need to call us. I know Robert's laughing behind <laughs> that the screen. You need to give us a call so that you can get your discounted price. And when you sign up for it, they put that you're in the Thread Club neck in a note next to your name so that it pops up in the register. But we don't have a code for this one. It's it's normally in the store, but we've opened it up to everybody. If you want to um, join the club, say Make It Mine Thread Club, and we will get you in set up yeah so but do we have a winner for this panel 
Um, has there, okay, everybody who's commented is in the drawing here. Chloe, what are we looking at? They're nice boxes. Very sturdy, too. It's a they good are. deal. They're very sturdy. Um, and I like it because it's protected. If your sewing room has windows, you would be shocked how quickly and how much stuff will fade, including your thread that we just love these colors so much. If you have them in a... And even the um, lighting will Carry cost. comfort. Carrie Congratulations. Comfort. Congratulations, Carrie. Get you a B panel. If you haven't shopped with us before, please go out to the website Quilters HQ and register for Make It So so that we can get this to you. Yeah. And if anyone else wants the B panel, the B panel. Got some of those all cut and ready to go. 823, comment Make It Mine B panel. It is really cute. I mean we it we is just really cool. we just quilted the 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 panel itself, but there's these cute little bee hexes on here you could cut out and make something with. You could, you know, cut these out and place them around in a quilt with some... And speaking of that, Libby actually made them and put them in picture frames and then them. arranged them um, yep. in her house, So, which was really a neat idea. Yep. Be humble, be joyful, and be kind. Aren't those good words to follow? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well. I think that's us for tonight. Well, everyone. We definitely wish everyone a great week. And uh, stay safe out there. And um, we'll um, pick it up next week. Yeah. And you can always go back and watch. So if there's something that you want, um, just go out there and comment. We'll pick it up mm -hmm. and get you an invoice and uh, we'll get, uh, get it out to you. Or so. you can email us at support at quiltershq.com yep. and then we'll get that as well. So I think that's us for tonight. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the show. We will see you next week. Have a great night, everybody. Good night.